All right. Hi, hello. I am Colby. I am Co Dameron. I am the coach of the Boca Raton Belly Bolts, and I am here for my second round of playoff match. Is it the corner finals? Is it the semifinals? I don't know, but we're here. We're going to win. We're playing against Rich Weave. Uh, let's talk about their team real quick. This matchup is tough. Um, matchup is always tough because these are good players with good teams and they know how to play Pokemon. They come prepared. They come every week. I've done a lot of testing with Rich uh, uh, for this match, match with Rich um, with both Electric. Oh, I'm sorry, not Electric. With um, Jace and with Purple. Shoutouts to them. Uh, I've been through a lot of iterations of this, te of this team. I've had let's hit him mode. Let's have uh, what do we do mode. We have let's do trick room mode. Uh, with uh, we have let's hit him mode with the Mesprit. We have trick room mode with the Mesprit uh, with the with the mental herb. We have a jetpack Landorus ideas. A lot of stuff. Basically, what this matchup comes down to is I think that Rich's team is a little bit better than mine on Pokemon quality, but my team is a little bit better uh, in terms of u utility and uh, tricks I can run and options that I have. So. A lot of his mods are a little bit faster than mine. This 101 speed on his only special attacker, his real special attacker, is has been the bane of my existence. It outspeeds Palafin, it outspeeds my Landris and my, my Urshifu. How do I get around this? Uh, Rich's team does not have a great sense of speed control, not a ton of it. There is the Tailwind on the Corviknight, but, you know, next to Articuno and Fletchender, my Tailwind's a little bit better. Um, his Archifu is probably a little better than mine, being water type instead of my dark type. Hitting three times is kind of good into things like Focus Sash. And his team is not weak to dark. Yet I'm still bringing double dark moves, which feels a little bit weird, but Wicked Glow just kind of hits some of these Pokemon neutrally just still the best, and things will Terra. So, bringing dark moves. Um, Palafin. Palafin's nuts here. Palafin goes crazy, crazy into everything except for this one-on-one -on -one speed guy. So we're running the Terra Water. We're running the Jet Punch to actually chunk this guy for about half. Then we have ways with either Ice Beam or with, you know, having the Tailwind and getting Wave Crash. We have ways to kill the Thunderous if it's, um, when it, when it comes to threaten us because it probably will be max speed. And we're running a lot of speed options. Also, Mesprit. Mesprit does a ton of damage here. Uh, Terra Fairy, Dazzling Gleam, Terra Fairy, Draining Kiss, and honestly just Psychic. There's going to be a lot of plays here where if uh, he can't get up, if I can get up speed control on him, I'll be in control. And if he can prevent my speed control, he'll have hit me a bunch and I'll be sad anyway. Um, so we're running crazy speed control. We're running Choice Scarf, Tailwind, Articuno. For a while, this was Choice Scarf, Fletchender, believe it or not, because, you know, making sure that ugh, Rich has priority, right? And I could run Quick Guard, but I think the Quick Guard isn't actually getting enough value here. Is it, like, can I run the, like, I need the Air Slash for, like, some sort of priority hits, but it's not all that good. I want to run Trick Quick Guard, but I think the Will-O-Wisp is just a little bit better into his Mons, hitting some sort of Protect move, and then Will-O-Wisp into the Chien Pao, or even the Corviknight is, is great. I have to watch for his Terra. Um, his Terra is a little bit constrained, because I'm going to hit a lot of his guys for weakness, and my goal is just to set up a little bit faster, hit him with strong stab moves, it's hard to live his hits, man. Oh, big notes. Landorus and, and Amoongus are not here. Landorus uh, wants to intimidate this Mon, but has Mirror Armor. Wants to intimidate this Mon, but has Surging Strikes. Wants to intimidate this Mon, but it kills it anyway with Ice Moves. And wants to intimidate this Mon and gets intimidated back. Who am I intimidating? I don't know. Amoongus is here. Amoongus wants to Spore Mons, but, you know, probably dies to this Mon or this Mon or this Mon first. Um, this Mon probably had like, Amoongus has a great matchup into Urshifu Water, but if it has Goggles, then my only real play into it is either Spore it into the Goggles or uh, hit it with a Leaf Storm, which kind of worked last week, but is less reliable this week because, again, uh, Amoongus is hard to switch into because I'm going to get smacked by stuff really, really hard. Game is hard this week. Um, we need to be sacrificing tempo on both Palafin and Tailwind, but I think we can win once we do that. Um, and both Landorus and Amoongus, their stabs just don't hit that well into this team. This ground, just this team isn't that weak to ground because this team likes to Terra. Again, his Terra is constrained, but still, the Jet Punch does the job. And Terra Grass still is sad anyway. And Amoongus um, just doesn't hit hard enough. No Grass moves hit all that hard into his Mons. No Bug moves are any good. Uh, no Poison moves really do it. And he, he can't play defensively. So... We're going to play offense, we're going to slug each slug it out, 
Uh, we're going to try to get a couple of, if we can get a key kill with the Zen headbutt on the Urshifu, we can get a key kill with the Zen headbutt on the Fungus, get a big uh, Scarf Icy Wind into a kill. That's how I'm going to steal this set. That's how we're going to win this set. Okay, let's send the matchups. Here it is. Let's do this. Let's get rid of this. Let's put this over here. Let's do this. Let's do this. Challenge two. Reg D. Rich Weave six. Don't allow spectators. Best of three. Hey, look, best of three. Let's let's do timer this week. We're gonna we're gonna do timer because I think we're all a little bit on a timer. Um, I've been thinking about this matchup. I think I'm ready for it. Um, I'm hype. Ditto is not here. Okay, things that things to note. Things to note. Ditto is not here. Corviknight is not here. That's awesome. Um, Fungus is here and Dugtrio is here. Dugtrio is really good into my Palafin. Palafin not being able to switch out is a little bit annoying, but I have th I have four flyers. So maybe Dugtrio doesn't come into my four flyers in my water type. Kind of good. I want to lead with my speed control. Let's lead with this speed control. I've EV'd my guys for really cool things to live stuff. I promise. Um... Rotom's a little less good. It's still pretty good. Um, I'm happy to kill this Doug Trio with a double up. I really want to bring Floatzel. I really want to bring Tranquility too. This mod is great here. Terra on Tranquility. And then I think we bring my, my Thaddeus and we leave the, the fire types at home against his water type and his, yeah, both my things levitate. Thaddeus is good. Here comes Dugtrio to be trapped. I think this is a Dugtrio trap. Okay, no Dugtrio trap. We're not intimidated, so it's going to rockhead me. So it's going to... I want to set up my Tailwind, or do I? Am I okay with the? I want to set up Tailwind because I'm Scarf, and I want to switch this out. I don't think I don't think I'm getting crunched into this slot. I think this is fine though. This is gonna Terra. Okay, this is fine. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That's a Choice Band for sure. Okay, it's still faster than my thing. So that means he's jolly. I'm faster than Adamant, but like there's no reason for him to be bigger than me. So that means he's Adamant, that's fine. I can bring in Floatzel's Cousin and Detect because this is dealing a lot of damage. Um, maybe I'm okay losing this Mon. I have to switch this out. Um, am I okay losing two Mons? Let's just, it's just fine. Let's lose this to extreme speed. This is fine. It's choice band. Ice spinner. This is fine. This is maybe scarfed. Okay, let's get him now. Let's go. We have our Terra. So let's go wave crash. We have our tailwind. We have our Terra dazzling gleam. I think this is what we came here to do. Yep. Fine with me. Still get him. Come on, let's get him. Let's get him, Tranquility. Ooh, still alive. That's a problem. I have Detect, though, so that's good. There's Thunderous. We have one more turn of Tailwind. It's his choice, we think. He's just going to hit buttons at me. Look at how fast he's clicking his buttons. This is designed to hit KO the Thunderous. It did bring the Sludge Bomb. And I did lose my Tailwind, but I think this is all what we planned for. This is fast, though. It's going to be faster than me. Um, 
Okay, hold on. How do I win this? Um, Aqua Jet probably kills Floatzel's cousin. This thing is potentially... I have to Hurricane here. I have to Jet Punch and Dresden. I think I lose two months here. Yeah, because of the Aqua Jet. This is fine. Well, it's not fine, but it's sad. Okay. This is... This is unfortunate. Um, we will ice. Uh, will hurricane the Urshifu? There's a world where we win this. No, it's not this world though. It was close. Okay, we we learned it's not Sash. That's super important. And we learned that this thing isn't choiced. We don't know this is item. I want this replay. Can I have this replay, please? Copy, paste. Okay, interesting. So he's just coming at me, isn't he? Man, he is just clicking on his, he also clicked his button. Do you see how fast he clicked his buttons? Like slow down, dude. Oh my God. Arcanine's a problem. Floatzo was great. You were great. I think Thaddeus comes in the lead now. I think we don't go Floatzel. I think we go fast mode. I think I still don't want to bring Rotom. How fast can I go? This Ice Beam into the Thunderous is good. Oh, timer. I think I want to lead Tranquility. I don't know how to lead into this Arcanine though. The Extreme Speed Choice Band is really strong. It has to be Thaddeus and it has to be Floatzel with Thin Ice and Tranquility. Is that the same four? Uh. Is Gale good here? Can I run Gale? The overheat's less good. I think the Chan Pao is scarfed with Ice Spinner. Let's make this thing sad to click Rockhead, to click uh, Rock Smash. Okay, let's bring offense. We're bringing. We're still bringing speed control. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. So we're close combat here. And we're overheat over here. Click your buttons. Fine with me. Citrus Berry's good. There's my sash. Let's get my buttons. CC is good. Overheat, not enough. I think Terra over Terra with the overheat is gonna get it. This has to go here. Detect is no good. I am Jolly. And I am Scarf. I shared. Oh, it's not it's just fast? Oh, I think I'm supposed to live this hit. Okay, it's just fast, but it's faster than Articuno, which is bad. Okay, it's faster than Articuno, which is bad. Um, we're going to be clicking on Icy Wind, Dazzling Gleam. Is Tailwind better? No. Is Draining Kiss better? Maybe. This is fine. Hit me. Draining kiss. Come on, draining kiss. Come on, Terra Fairy, draining kiss. Let's do it. Yeah. 
Give me that HP. We're doing it. Here we are. Oh, that's still bad. It's still so scary. How much is Draining Kiss doing to Thunder this? Let's take a second. Let's slow down. Terra Fairy. It's not killing the Thunderous. That's that's fine. Alright. Can Rotom beat out the Thunderous? What you got? I have to be clicking on overheat, which is a problem. Uh-oh. Oh, the miss is so bad! That's probably it. This could have this could have gone all right. All right, good set. Oh, and just like that, it, it's it's so fast. He clicks his button. Rich clicks his button so fast. Extreme speed is so fast. Quick guard would have been okay. I didn't bring Fletchender. Oh. I wanna... Okay. Man, that was tough. Challenge to Reg D, best of one, don't allow spectators. Okay, we're gonna forfeit this. Don't close. Daisy, 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 Daisy. Ah, ow. Daisy. All right. Daisy the cat. What a good cat. All right, let's see. So the question I have for myself is, did I did I make the right plan? And did I like play out my plan? Um, his extreme speed choice, this is clearly choice band Arcanine. Hold on, let's, let's at least send him a paste. Rotom was rough uh, in the matchup just because like not having speed is so hard. Like Articuno, like, yeah. His notes, his his Sylvian Arcanine is underrated. Um, so I have to switch out the Palafin, and like I'm actually living a lot of the hits that I wanted to live. Um, but the extreme speed being faster than Sucker Punch is a problem. Um, and me not uh, me deciding. Oh wait, no. Did I scarf faster than this Chien Pao? I mean, I clearly didn't. I clearly didn't do that. I was at one thirty eight. Which, hold on. Am I dumb? No, I should be faster than Jolly Chien Pao. Was he scarf Chien Pao? Did he switch out and I didn't notice? Oh, he's just scarf is what he is. Um, the Draining Kiss was great on the Mesprit game, too. Okay, so here's Extreme Speed. And look, here was our plan. Um, we even lived this hit, which was awesome. But then not getting this hit, I'm not max on Tranquility, but the defensive EVs mattered, too. So, rough. And then Protecting here was great. We get our half kill. Like, all of this is to plan. And I think the thing I didn't plan for was the Sludge Bomb. I did not actually expect that he would be running the coverage move for the fairy type. Like, Poison's so bad into my team. Right? Like, I'm not crazy. Like, Poison's so bad. What is he planning for? Snover? He's planning for, like, a Terra Fairy. 
Okay, here's a paste. We have a paste. We have a paste. So, terraflying with expert belt was huge. That expert belt damage was actually so big, especially in game two. Okay, hold on. And then here, I'm just slower. I know that I'm slower than the Yoshifu, and he has the jet punch. Scarf here. Scarf here. Okay, so this wasn't any speed ties. Scarf. Here's the goggles, respecting my Amoongus. Very little respect to my Landorus, but I guess correctly called. Safety goggles. Was, was Articuno not slower? Tailwind was great here. Hold on. Why did I think he was faster than me? Yeah. Switch out. Extreme speed. Tailwind now. Okay, I'm faster. Ice Spinner still just hits a ton. Have to switch. Save my Terra. Lose Urshifu. Get hit. And like now, after two turns of tempo, I have two turns of Tailwind to take it back, and I kind of almost do. And the question is, is two turns of Tailwind enough? And the answer is not into extreme speed. So like the Quick Guard Mesprit might have, uh, the Quick Guard Floatzel, uh, 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 Palaf, uh, Fletchinder might have been enough. And then I'm I'm not max special attack Mesprit, and maybe I should have been, but no, this is this is two hit KOing the Thunderous as planned. Yeah, max speed, timid, adamant. Okay, not max speed. So my, my investment was good on the Articuno. I guess I could have made it a little bit more efficient, but there's the Fungus, which we had respect for all over. Synthesis is cool. No ground move on the Dougie. I love that. And the Helping Hand. Very good against, this This with the grass, very good against my Palafin. I thought about this, but I brought four flyers. So why would he bring it? But he didn't have a ground move. There's the Aqua Jet with the Scarf. So he's Aqua Jet Scarf, and I wasn't Scarf. But, they, but, but it would have beaten my Scarf guy. And then the Sludge Bomb gets me. And then game two was not the same lead. But how do I deal with this Arcanine? Like, I just didn't have a good answer for this Extreme Speed. Just taking a ton of damage, chunking one of my Mons was a problem. I like that I didn't bring the Palafin. Good adjustment. No, this was a great adjustment, actually. Because I didn't care because I had the Citrus Berry. I had the Sash. And then I go Bonk Bonk. And I just wasn't strong enough on the Rotom. Uh, the defensive investment on the Rotom was super important. Uh... Yeah, I didn't have enough special defense. I was respecting his... Oh, no. That was so good. That was so good in exactly this matchup. Go Rotom. Go Rotom taking less than half from the Choice Band Extreme Speed. Go Rotom doing exactly the thing that I designed him to do. And then Urshifu clicking on close combat and then not dying and then not caring about his defensive drops. And then I think at this point I th still thought this was Choice Terra Blast. Ugh. Oh, but I think I, I think I get Jet Punched here. Protect doesn't matter. Ice Shard too. Ugh. And the Surging Strikes. The Articuno was designed to live the Surging Strikes. I lied. Well, we I knew it did. It's gross that it does, though. Not with much. Is this in Jolly? Jolly Scarf? Yeah, Jolly Scarf. Just Jolly Max Scarf. Just let's have the fastest Urshifu. Faster than mine, and it mattered. And here... I didn't realize that I was not faster. Here, the scarf over the Articuno super matters. Because the Articuno just can't do anything, right? Oh no, it doesn't matter because I get sharded. But then this was great. This was great. I loved this play. This was super cool. The draining kiss. Hold on. Wait, did I throw? Oh no, is the Dazzling Gleam just 
better here to hit two mons and take two kills because we know it kills. I guess I didn't realize I was I was clicking on icy wind, and I didn't know that this was scarfed. Huh. Only got one choice band, and then here I have to take a hit from the I have to take a hit from both of them. It sucks, but I have the defense to help. No, it's just not enough. I just have to die. I have to take the thunderbolt kill. Yeah, if I dazzling gleam there, I win that game. Because thunderous can't handle both of them, and I just take two kills. Well, thunderous has to take one hit here, and the other hit here. And I guess, I guess I didn't think I was taking this hit. I did not think I was taking this hit. Oh, I didn't also realize he has a shirt. Okay, yeah, um, I got a little outplayed there. I think Dazzling Gleam is actually more optimal there. There's a little bit of why wouldn't you click, but, you know, we'll watch the tape back. This still felt great. It also felt really cool to click on the, the, the draining kiss and go back to 100. Like, that was, that's a cool moment. I'm happy for that. I, I cer certainly got suckered into that. But not killing the Chien Pao, not taking two kills there, was a mistake. Oh, so much damage. And the Sludge Bomb. This thing didn't click any electric moves. All set. It just clicked on Sludge Bomb into my Mesprit every time. Like, max speed, timid, to get over my Palafin. Expert Belt, super mattering. How much did this do? There's the Gleam to do half. It's like 76. Oh my god, that's so much. Yeah, Expert Belt was great on this mod. And then I don't think... I don't think that Rotom 2v1's this thunderous ever. Yeah, there needs to, I need to, it needs to go really well for me. No, it just never happens. Because that's whatever. Sludge bomb. So, because like, if I, if I hit that, even if I crit, like, oh, that could kill. Yeah, whatever. That's not worth, that's not a win I want. Because then, the other thing is that the sludge bomb... Why is it doing so much? It's doing just a little bit more than it should. But that's the game. That's the set. That's the season. That was a great season. I had so much fun. I had so much help from so many people. I had uh, so much going for me. I had so many friends. Oh, and this game was nothing. Um, thanks to everyone who helped the Pokemon Toe and Valley Bulls. Thanks to Daisy, who is such a good cat. Look at this cat. He's so good. Thanks to Daisy Mwah, for being a menace. Go here. Oh, careful. And thanks to all of you. Thanks to you for, uh, for watching, for helping, for being a part of the season. And uh, wish me luck next time. Thanks a bunch.